terracotta is contemporary and seems rather unspectacular. However, I make it a point to treat all projects with the same care and diligence as if it was a highly prized artifact. With this project various issues come to mind. The artist chose a rather fragile material to sculpt the piece. The head and neck are very petite and easily damaged. During the handling, the head snapped off at the weakest point of the neck. A previous restoration left some deteriorated adhesive on the fractures. There is a chip missing at the corner of the front of the desk. After the damage, the head was secured with some kind of sellotape onto the desk. The intention is good, however the tape left some dark marks. Most tapes have glue applied to one side. This glue is viscous and can easily transfer to a porous surface such as terracotta. Then the glue adsorbs grim and this can cause a change in pH and damage the surface. In this instance it would have been best to place the head into a small polyethylene bag and tie it to the body of the figure with a string. The surface of the sculpture was dusty and was dry cleaned with a soft brush. The deteriorated adhesive had to be removed, various solvents were tested and a suitable candidate was readily found. All the adhesive from the neck fracture and tabletop were removed. I have to assume that there are traces in the pores structure of the terracotta left. The head was joined with a neck using a stainless steel pin and a stable adhesive. If needed, this restoration can be reversed. The joint between head and neck had to be filled with a filler and retouched. Both materials are museum grade and completely reversible in the future. To make future cleaning unnecessary and protect the surface from touching, a small clear acrylic showcase was recommended to the client.